After Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 crashed on the 17th of July 2014, Ukraine asked the Dutch Safety Board to take charge of the investigation into the crash. Following the crash, it was impossible to investigate the wreckage on the crash site due to the safety situation in eastern Ukraine. For that reason, the Dutch Safety Board decided to recover the most important pieces of wreckage and transport them to the Netherlands for investigation as soon as it was safe enough to do so. After a lengthy preparatory period, recovery operations began on Sunday the 16th of November. The wreckage was carried in low loaders from the crash site to a small local railway station. Eventually, 12 train wagons and two low loaders carried the wreckage to the city of Kharkiv, where, under the supervision of the Dutch Safety Board, the wreckage was re-registered and prepared for transport to the Netherlands. After arrival at Gilsarayan Air Base, all the pieces of wreckage were inspected, registered and photographed in accordance with a fixed procedure. The investigators then selected the pieces they needed for the investigation into the cause of the crash. The investigation team occupies several spaces at the airbase. Most of the wreckage is stored in two shelters. These are the pieces that at this time are not being used for the investigation. The wreckage required for the investigation and for subsequent reconstruction is stored in a separate hangar. This was done in close consultation with the Public Prosecution Service in view of the forensic investigation that is being carried out in the hangar, alongside the aviation investigation. The investigators have drawn the outlines of the Boeing on the floor of the hangar. Within these outlines they have placed the pieces of wreckage that need to be further examined. This concerns part of the cockpit, the business class section, as well as an engine and parts of the left wing. In February, aviation investigators from the countries involved in the international investigation into the cause of the crash studied aspects including fracture surfaces, failure mechanisms and impact patterns. In early March, once the next of kin of the victims of the MH17 disaster have viewed the wreckage, the three-dimensional reconstruction of part of the aircraft will begin. The reconstruction will involve the outside of the cockpit and a part of the business class section.